It would be high energy because everyone is vested. Everyone has a question that they really think is theirs, and they also, interestingly, almost always have an answer that they think is right. Whether or not they have any basis to think it's right, they haven't done the science, right? They haven't actually gone out and tested the hypothesis. They've done the first parts of the science. They've made an observation, they've, okay. posited a, they've asked a question, they've posited an explanation, which is a hypothesis that might answer that question. But they haven't yet gone out and tried to figure it out, but they are really sure. And so to watch the sureness in the room come face to face with other people who haven't yet considered the question, who on the spur of the moment come up with alternate explanations, is both an exercise in, uh, in how science is done and how we come to understand what things are true and what things aren't, but also an exercise in watching human dynamics about how someone who yesterday didn't care about this thing at all now is so sure and is so intricately tied their identity to this thing being true, whether or not it is, that they can end up yelling at someone who's just saying, well, maybe it's this instead. And so you, you actually begin to get real group cohesion out of the chaos of people disagreeing, sometimes stridently, sometimes angrily with one another, because all it takes is a step back to say, okay, how would we know? Why do you care so much? Why is this about emotion right now, as opposed to let's figure out how we would actually come to know? Stupid emotions. <laughs> Her point is so good, though, of like, and that is why typing is so damn hard. Right. It's not the information, it's not the coins, it's not the class. It's like, have you put in lots and lots of hours of dealing with the exercise of that bias monster? Right. That can't be done from watching videos or learning about it or whatever. It comes from hours of going, let me put myself in a situation where I'm going to watch my crazy bias monster be like, uh, yes, that, right. and then let me work my way through it. That's why for me, but no, I don't know anything. Everybody else doesn't agree with me, so do what you fucking want. <laughs> for me, the biggest thing about learning how to type is by doing your dishes and your chores and your relationships because there you can get much smaller, more frequent interactions of I'm an arrogant, know-it-all, biased asshole, and I'm getting caught, and you can work through that muscle. You versus objectivity. Because it's, it's there's a difference between, we keep seeing this more and more in, in, in so many things, It's there's consciousness and responsibility. And one, like overdoing one doesn't help you with the other. Right. And everyone in the age of the internet, I know this is like, you know, low consume speaking here, so so warning, but it's like, <laughs> everyone is like, well, I'll just, I'll just learn more about the thing and then I'll know how to do it. You know, I'll, right. I'll just, I'll just play war games and therefore I know how to do real war. What she's saying there. Yes. I love that. Be, you know, my FI loves that because it's like, that's the shit we see all day. Yes. She has a classroom. Type. She's like, here's, let's do an experiment. <laughs> oh, you all fucked it up because <laughs> right. you're so angry and biased and yelling right. at each other. Anybody want to notice that? Right. You're responsible to test and make sure this is accurate in reality. That's why we like look to the cops and we look to those that are investigating situations to see how to do this for real because right. you're constantly wanting to go, I already know who the bad guy is. I already know who he is. I already know that it was uh, it was this guy, not that guy. I already know who bombed the blah, blah, blah. Like I already know, I already know. And then reality will never punish you because you're not obligated to come to objective reality and prove your case. Right. Because it's okay to just say, oh, I guess this, I feel good in the moment and I'm moving on. But that's what's going on with typing. It's literally one of the hardest things to do ever yeah. because you're forcing your brain to go, that's a cool hypothesis. My guess is that this lady is ST. My guess is that she's also SI. But I'm wrong most of the day if I'm paying attention. If you're paying attention, if but you're I actually have a, checking. I have a blame monster and an unconscious monster. Why right. It's actually their fault. They're wrong. Right. So what she's <laughs> talking about is literally the game of how you would actually type. You're allowed to have hypotheses. You're allowed to have guesses. But are you actually then able to, this is how you would test it, predict her patterns in reality. If this much, knowing this much about her at this point, right. I should be able to write on a napkin and say, she's probably eventually going to tell me some fear story, fear based story about, oh my God, uh, you know, chaos of things and, you know, scary, scary, uh, d no more chaos, blah, blah, blah. That's what my guess would be. I don't know, fill in the sensory blanks, but I'm supposed to be able to predict this person's patterns over time. That's how you would start going, let me test my hypothesis. Have you ever tried to write on a napkin? <laughs> you gotta have like the perfect pen for that. It's so true. It's gotta be like a Sharpie fine point. Yeah, one of those ones that just wants to write. Yeah. It, des it desires to write. I can't write. even get my pens to write on binder paper. <laughs> 